Hey everyone, Jeff Tucker here. Doc T for most everyone. I'm here in Pensacola, Florida. And Pensacola is kind of cool because I'm still in my home state and yet I'm in the central time zone. It's such a huge state with horses everywhere. And I, I've been able to come up the coast through Gainesville out to Tallahassee and then all the way through Panama City and now I'm gonna be in Pensacola for a couple of days. Um, and something neat happened this morning. I was with a client whose job it is to teach our men and women how to fly the F-15 fighter jet. That's quite a responsibility. And we started talking about school and educating students and uh, what, we, what we like about it. And the thing we like about it the most is we get to teach what we know and to teach it really, really well. Uh, and then at some point, our goal is to teach these students to teach others. And we're not there yet, but I'll tell you something, it's so exciting because on the route over here to Pensacola, along the, the bottom of the state, you know, just along the curve of the uh, Gulf of Mexico with this huge, huge um, ocean of water, if you will, um, outside of Destin, just to the west of Destin, there was a pizza place. And I know the pizza place doesn't mean much to anybody. It's just a small place, but it was very important to us. Uh, Melissa and I had been traveling most of the day and we decided we were going to do the school, but we didn't know how to describe the things that we do. And describing them was kind of hard. You know, you place the blade here in the mouth and you do this and that. And we decided to come up with names. So we went into this pizza parlor and we had dinner. And the whole time there, we started scribbling down names like the cranny grabber. Uh, the over under, the nose and chest. And we came up with these catchy little names to describe the different techniques. And we probably have 20 of them that we teach our students how to do dentistry without needing the drugs and getting in there and effectively getting every tooth uh, taken care of. And I think if, uh, if you were here yesterday, you know that I made a client cry, which is like not always good. <laughs> But for me, it was excellent because um, she was in disbelief. She said, um, as I'm working on her big thoroughbred horse who is uh, flighty and scared and um, what I call a sanguine personality, this horse decided to say, you know what? This guy's doing something good for me. And I'm, going to, I'm just gonna stand here and let him do what, I'm, what he's doing. And she started breaking into tears because she said the last time this horse was done, it was drugged, it was uh, suspended, his head was immobilized, and, um, and the uh, mouth was uh, braced open. And the horse still fought and it was a horrible job. And for her to see the true horse come out, the, the true personality come out, was just so moving for her, she, had to, she was moved to tears, basically. And we do this day after day, Melissa and I do, across the country. Uh, here in Pensacola, um, next later this week, all over the state of Louisiana, and then out to the state of Washington. Uh, we're gonna be demonstrating this and, and to new clients everywhere, showing them how beneficial horsemanship dentistry is. And it was so cool and moving to have that happen yesterday. And then today, talk to an F-15 fighter pilot instructor who could really relate to being a teacher of of, uh, of an important thing and passing on his knowledge. And then to pass the pizza place on the way out here, it just made me come to want to tell everybody else about it. So um, here's the thing. Um, horsemanship dentistry is so cool and we really want to help others understand just how cool it is. So feel free to share this and pass it on, but I just want to get this out here. And isn't that, lovely scenery i mean that's just so cool and the the palms and the oaks and i don't know if you can see the oak trees up there and and on the ground there's about a million acorns which for horses they can be a little bit uh poisonous um because they have tannic acid in there and and uh that you don't want to let them eat too much of them but for some reason horses just are addicted to them uh, but I'll get into that in another uh, episode. I just want to say a uh, big shout out to everybody here from Pensacola. Um, love y'all and thanks for stopping by.